this is Peter with PM Designs. In this video, I want to show you not really a tutorial so much, but actually more of just a walkthrough of how to get this sun. Oh, that's really bright. Don't stare directly at your screen when I'm doing this. Um, so more of just just a, a guide of the the shaders that the shader that I've used to create this, and how you could mess around with it a bit yourself. Um, but let's just start over here. We've got a Voronoi texture and a noise texture working together. The Voronoi texture you need to switch to, if you don't know how to use modes by the way, you just go to add search and type in Voronoi, or you can try and find them here which will be in here, texture. Um, Voronoi texture, you need to switch it to 4D and put it on Minkowski, alright, and you, you can try and copy the settings I've got here, I've got the scale at 19.8, I've got the exponent at 13.8, and then I've added a noise which will break up the pattern of the um, uh, Voronoi. I'll make it so if I take that out you can or if I just run it down a bit you can see this is exactly what the Voronoi is and then this is exactly what the noise is and you put them together at some point which you think is suitable and you get a nice mix I really don't want it too square about there um, the noise texture I just whack the scale right up and that's it I didn't touch anything else and then we've got them going into a mix because you have to mix them together. I'm just going to leave that on a mix. And then I just had three colors. And then just, you know, play around with these settings as much as you like. You can try and match mine. I've got a red set on 0.236, an orange set on 0.6, and a very bright yellow, pale yellow set on 0.8. And yeah, as you move these around, you know, it'll have a different effect. Um, and then we've, I've, I've added a bump. There's not really any purpose for the bump, but I always, I just like to add a bump. So then from your color amp, you need to run the color into the base color and the emission color down here. And then you mess with your emission strength. This is on EV. So another thing you can do on EV is to turn on bloom over here. But um, if you do it on cycles, it's, it's a bit different. But then you just mess with your emission strength to however bright you want it. And you could have a sun going supernova if you wanted to. Or, you know, just have that from a, from a distance. And as you get closer, you know, the emission can come down to something more visible. And then, you know, get even closer. And you guys on this, on the whatever space station, have got some like anti glare glass or something, which can reduce your emission right down. So, yeah. So, having looked at some photographs of the sun, this is not 100% photorealistic because the sun has some more distinct cracks in there but I think this looks pretty good from a distance you know it does the job and if, if you're not happy with it you can just crunch these down a little bit so you've got a smaller white area but then bring up the emission so the whole thing is generally more white and then these could be classed as sunspots whatever you want to do with it more red yeah like an angry sun that are more bright white so there you go. How to do a basic sun shader material, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so if you found that useful, please drop a like. Thanks very much.